It's the biggest thing that people don't do with Facebook campaigns that they should is test. So, you know, you have the ability to have 50 different ads in every ad set. If you're not testing 50, 50 different ads every single time, you're wasting opportunity. So, you know, we max out every single ad set we can possibly get with all sorts of different creatives, with different imagery, with different text, with different formats. And as you go through that, you start to understand what ones work better. And then you reiterate those ones again with more variants. So it's a continual improvement methodology to Facebook ads. And if you keep doing that, you get to a better and better position, as well as reading all of the comments that you get on them, looking at your relevancy scores, looking at the amount that Facebook is actually finding the ads to be successful. And from that, you can start to create some really great campaigns at scale. And then it's also making sure that you're monitoring all of the metrics. So as soon as they go off the boil, you're able to refresh, restart, create a new campaign that will then take the majority, you know, of the spend of the last one to, to do it consistently or to increase your actual audience size again. So we don't do a huge amount of um, super targeted ads because I don't think they really work in the algorithm anymore. So it's all about being wide and letting people's behavior dictate what they get as opposed to, you know, trying to go, oh, I want a lady called Sue who's, you know, aged between 24 and 30 who likes sausage dogs. You know? Actually, I do know that woman and she she is a tight buyer, but yeah. it's irrelevant now. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's I, carry on, yeah. I think having having watched Bree do this for for like nearly two years, I my view is people massively over mythologize Facebook ads. So so basically, if you break down what Bree does with Facebook ads, she makes ads that are really clear about what they're selling. So you have a picture of the product. Then you have some words that are, this is the product. It costs this much. It's a nice product. I mean, very, there's no sort of super complex copy or anything like that. It's just be extremely clear to people what the product is, what it does, why it would make their life better. And then you target it. But again, we will go out. We started out, we've run campaigns to women for, for snacks. So you start at a super broad level. And then when, the, when you find stuff that doesn't work, you follow the data. And when you find stuff that doesn't work, you turn it off. And that's all she does. There isn't like some sort of, I've read, you know, blog articles where people are going, oh, if you launch your campaigns in a new business manager at exactly three minutes past midnight, I've genuinely, no, I genuinely read an article like this, going at exactly three minutes past midnight, you get like a super boost from the algorithm and it makes people buy. And you're like, the Facebook algorithm doesn't buy anything. It doesn't make people do anything. It shows ads to people. And if your ad is crap, people won't buy from it. If not, your website is crap, people won't buy from it. But I think, moreover, is if your product is crap, people yeah. don't buy, right? There's this belief that, you know, Facebook ads will sell anything. And people think that they can go out there with any product and you know, put a couple of Facebook ads out and they'll be able to sell them. And it's like, if the product you start with is crap, you're not going to be able to sell it at all. Mm. And, you know, you see quite a lot of people that go, you know, it'll take at least a month, two months before you see your final results on your Facebook ads before you know if it works or not. It doesn't. I mean, you know whether or not it's going to work in 24 hours. I mean, yeah. And if it's not going to work, you know, eventually you need to go, it's your product. It's not, you know, it's not you. And at the agency, we had to one particular time we had to do that to a company and say look you know guys like we're doing everything right here but you know it's it's not going to work because your product isn't isn't good and you know unless you change that there's no marketing in the world that's going to be able to save it you know 